All right, welcome uh, third graders to another math video lecture. We are on chapter two, lesson two, talking about picture graphs. We've already done a few in class, but I saved this one on page 68. You can see the picture graph here, number of books students read. You can see the key, and the key is used so that we understand what each picture means. Each one of these is equal to two books. And we also learned in the lesson that when you have half of a picture, it means half of whatever the value of a whole picture means. So because a whole picture means two books, half of a picture means one book. All right, let's go ahead. Now that we've looked at the picture graph, Let's go ahead and look at one, two, and three. Use the number of books students read picture graph for one through three. What does the half of a book stand for? Oh, it even gives you a little tip right there. Half of two is one. So it stands for uh, one book read because half of one of these pictures is one because a whole book is equal to two books. Look at number two. How many books did the students read in September? You could see here two, four, six, and this little half of a book is worth one, so it's gonna be seven all day. Two, four, six, plus one is seven and the last question for this math lesson number three how many more books did the students read in October than in November well let's first we need to find out how many books were read in October let's see two four six eight ten twelve books were read in October I just put that right there how many books were read in November? Two, four, six, eight. Eight books were read in November. We talked about in class that when you're finding out how much more of something, you're gonna need to use subtraction. So in this case, you're trying to find the difference between October 12 and November 8. You do 12 minus eight is Four. So how many more books did the students read in October than in November? The answer is four. That was pretty much it for this uh, lesson. It was all about uh, just reading picture graphs and answering the questions. Hopefully this helped you with tonight's homework.